Hello and welcome back to another Tech Tip with Zach. Uh, today we're going to look at how to image with netcat and the dd command over a network. Uh, this would be used in uh, cybersecurity um, or in any instance where an administrator wants to be able to send files from one machine to another machine. Now in this case uh, we're working on the local so we will need two terminals opened up. Okay, great. So we have two terminals. And now what we need to do is, first let's go ahead and get to our desktop. All right, and let's create a folder on here where we can store the data this would be our uh, our investigative or our forensics machine where we want the files sent to. So let's create a file real quick. So we'll use the mkdir and we'll just call it data for now. And let's go ahead and cd into data. Notice we have our data file here. The next thing we want to do is set up netcat. We do that by saying nc space dash l for listen and we want it to listen on 888 and whatever it hears or is sees or however you want to look at it um, we want that to then be put inside of a file and we will just call this netcad data dot dd we'll be using the dd command and so we'll stick with this uh, notation of dot dd just so that we know what the file is. We'll go ahead and hit enter and notice that it just goes into listening mode. It's just blinking. Alright, so let's go to our other machine and in this machine, this terminal, uh, this simulates the suspect or the machine that you want to transfer a file from. So let's go ahead and go to CD, uh, CD desk and let's just create a quick file We'll call this the suspect bad data. And let's go ahead and send that to a file called secret.txt. That'll pop up here in a second. So if we look at that particular file, we see we have suspect, suspect bad data. That's our secret information. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and hash that. And we can hash that uh, with the MD5 as well as the SHA hash. So we'll do MD5 sum space secret. And there's our hash. And let's go ahead and do a SHA sum as well. There we go. So now we have the, f the hash of the document on the suspect or the bad guy or whichever machine you want to pull it from, we have that hash. We're checking the integrity. Now we want to send it to our forensics, our home machine, something over a network. Okay, and we can do that by saying dd uh, data duplicate. Remember this is a bit stream so it copies everything. And so we say dd input file is equal to secret and in this case rather than creating an output file an OF is equal to something we want to pipe this and we want to send it over the network to our forensic machine right here and so in this case we're using netcat and you can do one of two ways you can say 127.0.0.1 and then the port that you're listening on which is 8888 or um, since we're on the same machine so this is home uh, 127.0.0.1 is your home it's also called localhost so you can do localhost as well um, since we're talking about transferring over the network though so we'll go ahead and use an IP now this would be with ever the IP address that you're sending the machine to. So 
um, make sure that you remember when you're sending this is where you're sending it to and we're sending it on port 88 now our forensics machine is listening and so when I hit enter we should see something happen on both terminal screens so let's go ahead and do that and notice one record in one record out here's the information about that and notice on our forensics machine we are no longer in listening mode now we can do an LS over here and notice the NC data that we uh, set up to anything that we hear on this 8888 port write it here and which we have a file and we can go ahead and look at that and say oh it says suspect bad data we know that that file is in fact the file that we sent however in order to ensure integrity we have to make sure and do our md5 sum and we'll call it in oops, in C data and our SHA sum and now let's compare the two so MD5 in 7FBE49 MD5 7FBE49 and then to double check our double check we will use the SHA we'll say that this is 43C double aught one C so 43C double aught one C so we can be sure that the copy we have is byte for byte um, excuse me bit for bit correct alright well I hope this helps. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have comments or thoughts, please leave those in the comment section. And as always, happy coding.